so this week I've been sharing wise words from authors who inspire me. Listen to this quote. Um, Even the worst thing that can happen to you is meant to happen because it's going to push you to grow. Um, It's by Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, the author of the prolific book, The Four Agreements. That's from his newer book, The Fifth Agreement. Um, I'm not the only one who finds those words inspirational, though. Kaylin, in our house seat, says it's propelled her to rethink things. So, Kaylin, you had a pretty rough 2020, right? Yeah. Hi, Kelly. It's so nice to meet you. Um, Yeah, 2020 was rough with everything with the elections and with the pandemic. Um, I'm a neonatal intensive care nurse, and so I've seen firsthand moms being separated from their babies, and so that was tough and is still tough for me. Um, As a mom myself, um, I have two grown, beautiful um, daughters um, who my husband and I adopted. My husband and I are white, and our daughters are black, and this summer passed at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement, Mm. um, my brother posted something on Facebook that um, really upset me. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And that, that, you know what, I'm going to be honest with you, that that has happened with a lot of families, especially in 2020. Um, You know, be it politics, uh, you know, uh, religion, um, everyday issues. Um, I think there's there's been a lot of communicating and and some of it's um, super negative and and hardcore. And it's and it's even harder when it's your family and you you love them so much. And you're like, look, we disagree on this major thing. And I'd like to be able to talk to you about it and in a a healthy kind of way. Um, But why does that quote? Why do you think that quote really helps you? Is it because? You're kind of looking at it as a struggle, but but it's it's worth it because in the end, there's got to be a reason, right? Right. So when he posted what he did, as a mother of black daughters, I felt that I needed to stick up for them and say something. And I felt that he didn't understand the depth or the meaning behind what the Black Lives Matter movement was about. And so I commented and... Other family members jumped on and commented, his friends commented, and it turned into this big ordeal. Um, My feelings were hurt because I felt like he wasn't understanding and respecting my daughter's experiences, and his feelings were hurt because it all took place in a public forum, and he told me to lose his contacts, and family is important to me, and it, it, it hurt. Wow. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it, that, that's a tricky thing to talk about. Um, you know, because I, I feel like what, on one hand, it's like, okay, well, thank you for showing me who you are and, and, and protecting your babies. You know, but on the other hand, you're like, if we can't do this as a family, if we, if we can't find some kind of common ground, if we can't see from each other's perspective and we're family, how in the world is the rest of the world going to make it? You know, I'm really sorry. That's a hard, that's a hard situation. Um, but I'm very glad that Don Miguel Ruiz is joining us later um, because he's got some wisdom to impart. And not only um, hopefully for you, Kaylin, but also, you know, just for everybody else, how to make 2021 our best year yet. I'm sure you're not the only family that's, exp- I'm 100% sure you are not the only family to experience, you know, devastation like that in such an emotional way um, b- between your, your family roots. So here we are, day six of 2021. And if you haven't fully scrubbed off the dirt, from 2020, it's okay, because we are helping you get there all week with our series, Well That Sucked, Moving On. Well, that sucked. (laughs) That's my favorite inflection, well, that sucked. (laughs) More than 20 years ago, my next guest published one of the most popular modern books on spiritual enlightenment. The Four Agreements is all about finding happiness within yourself through integrity, not taking anything personally, um, not making any assumptions, and by simply doing your best. It's a great book. His follow-up book, The Fifth Agreement, built on those ideas as well. He advises us to be skeptical but learn to listen. Um, And that's more important, you know, in this new year more than ever. Um, I think we can all agree on that. Uh, Let's welcome New York Times bestselling author Don Miguel Ruiz. What's up, man? How are you? 
wonderful, wonderful. It's a big pleasure to be in your show. Oh my God, I just want you to talk nonstop. Your accent is so cool, man. Um, well, at, at the start of the hour, I read your quote from the Fifth Agreement, um, even the worst thing that can happen to you is meant to happen because it's going to push you to grow. Um, I think it's a quote, obviously, all of us needed to hear uh, desperately in 2020. But let's bring Kaylin back um, into the conversation. Earlier, she told us how her relationship with her brother was shattered this summer. Uh, it was devastating. Um, and as the mom of two adopted black daughters, she couldn't stand what he posted on social media about the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, when she confronted him, everything fell apart, which is, like I said, that, that's devastating and, and very hard. Um, there's hard conversations there. So, Kaylin, you have a question for Don Miguel, right? Yeah, I do. Um, the quote that you just um, talked about, Kelly, also resonates with me because I do feel as if there's something that I'm supposed to learn from this experience and grow from, but I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. And then the second thing is, if I am trying to reconcile with my brother, how can I remain an ally to my daughters and still reconcile with him? Mm. First, you have to understand that this is your story and you are the main character in that story. Mm -hmm. And you have priorities. The, the first priority is always yourself. The second priority is the ones that you love the most. In your case, your little girl is extremely important and you have all the right to protect her and to push away from her whatever can harm her. Then in, in that case, with your brother, if he feels that way, well, your, your priority is your daughter, not your brother. It doesn't mean that you don't love him, but you will not allow him to hurt your daughter. You will protect her. Perhaps it's important to separate for a little while, mm. let him, if he can, recapacitate, recapacitate and see that he was wrong, but you don't have to take with you all that pain you don't need it. It's not yours. It's yeah. poison that come from somebody else. It's not yours. I love it. For that. you, the most important is your own daughter and for for of course yourself. Then you will forgive your brother, even if he if he don't deserve to be for uh, forgiven just because you love yourself mm. and you don't want that that issue keep hurting you mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm making any sense but no that was great I I, 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 no i i love that um and i i think that it's important <clears throat> to remember too that forgiving doesn't mean agreeing um you know you can forgive someone and still not agree with them <clears throat> um but kaylin did that i felt like that was pretty helpful did that make sense to you yeah, it, it does. I I see now that the lesson I need to learn in this is to forgive so that my story is peaceful within myself because they're all living their own stories too. So yeah. thank you for that advice. I love this. Thank you so much, Don Miguel. Um, check out the four agreements and the fifth agreement wherever you get your books.